yeah, it's just very scary room potential on on their side. Yep. Well, we'll see whether they decide to do that or whether they're just uh, looking for some dual lanes, perhaps trying to win these lanes. We head into game number one of this best of three. Gambit up against Team Spirit. The winner is up against Vega Squadron in uh, the semi finals of this single lone nation bracket or the qualifiers or star letter. And uh, quick pause, but we're ready to go again as we see this lane take, take shape. Of course, Cheshire Cat is that offlaner. He's gonna be taking the Brewmaster there. We'll smoke up immediately just to get to the lanes quicker on both yeah. sides, actually. It's actually, I think, that's started to be seen more and more. Yeah. Do this, like this smoking this early faded out for some reason, but now people started doing it again because getting this wash out are just so important. Yeah, not really useful if you want to catch somebody because by the time you get to the middle of the map, the smoke's almost over. The team spirit actually, yeah, it's it's for these wards, but they actually also managed to make their way into this very interesting position. But they might very well just catch somebody out from Gambit if they rotate back towards the top lane, just depending on how long they want to stick around to make that happen. It looks like they are gonna go with this aggro trial and then just put Weaver against. Weaver is actually here that does. It's one of the nicer like carry ish heroes against Brewmaster because you can always even if you get the uh, Drunken Haste you can always secure last hits with your Shikuchi yeah. and since uh, the Brewmaster will kind of spam Drunken Haste of you you can get a magic stick and you will always kind of sustain to keep keep Shikuchi I do believe Gambit has scouted that out here Vanscor caught a glimpse of uh, Illidan up in the top lane gonna make any sort of adjustments yeah actually in Daxak or Dahak Already on uh, the bottom lane, ready to block there. Seems like they were they were expecting it, so I think Shishu Cat showed bottom to make Team Spirit think that haha, our plan is working. Yeah. And then no. And it's not really everyone will be able to get to the lanes in time without missing out on too much. And as we see, Team Spirit are changing out the lanes too, so. Yeah. Mid Seeker actually now together with Ancient Apparition. Up against the Death Prophet. Interesting how that works, but yeah, of course, that combination, very strong as you were mentioning earlier. And uh, Spirit Siphon can only get you so far, especially in the early levels. Only have the one charge on a long cooldown. So Vance Go will be required to just offset that a little bit. Meanwhile, does mean we have another dual lane up top. Beaver trying to zone out Cheshire Cats. Tiny can free farm. And uh, that 1v1 for the time being, Weaver up against Omni Knight down here. With Big Nome all the way to rotating in. And <clears throat> this uh, combination of uh, AAC kit really takes off as they hit level 2. Then their kill potential is really, really big, and uh, Seek 33 has to be very careful. And Vanscore. Yeah. Of course. Even just as level 1. Even just to drag back into a couple of right picks with the minus armor. Even without the chilling touch or anything else, it's already brought Vanscore down to half health. Yeah, just imagine the stun and the cold feed on top of that. It's. Has to be very scary. That's something that neither Spirit Siphon or the the Shadow Word even can really help you very much with, as it's very slow heal over time. Have to keep an eye on it. Okay, top lane. I actually managed to right click him down. Only caught the tail end of that, so just certain right clicks, a three toss. Get the first blood here for Team Spirit. Meanwhile, down bottom though, Deacon Phobos. Actually, a bit of trouble himself. Gets stunned up, nuked down. He did not have the Shikuchi available. Really nice by Binom to <clears throat> be able to capitalize on maybe we were using Shikuchi a little bit too aggressive. Because this one, like this mid lane, it's gonna be really scary for uh, BCC. But he's actually doing really well so far in CS. But I expect him to kind of not be able to CS as well because such a scary lane. I like to do Lidin just throwing out the one reality rift, f forcing out that bird siphon. That was backing off, ready to engage next time. Uh, for now, this lane has yet to explode a big num. Do you see him rotating into that to try and tip the balance in favor of Gambit? Or is he think, gonna stick around bottom? I think he's gonna stick, like, uh, stand here like he does now in the woods and then kind of go to the lane, whatever his team, like, talks about and then. Either, yeah, shut down this Weaver, be super long to him, or just come in behind bottom, uh, mid, I mean. Because 
See, Spirit doesn't really have a ward in their wood, so they can't know where this slaughter is if he moves like that. So it creates a lot of pressure on both lanes just by not showing at all. Fear factor getting that out on the map. Like Phobos, he died once because he used Shukuchi aggressively, so he's gonna be way more inclined to not do that. Yeah. He's taking quite a bit of damage here, just even in Shikuchi. It's caught by that uh, the crush with purification combo. So, has to be very careful indeed. For at least Cheshikat up top is kind of stabilized, he's keeping himself healthy. Has plenty of region left with the magic wand, so... I'm gonna say it's unlikely that he gets caught again, like for the first blood. Yeah, I'm a bit curious to how he died, because when he, you're safe then, it's like, you're so much safer. Yeah. But I guess he just kind of misread the situation. Probably wanted to trade a little bit, pop a salve, and then, you know, get back to the lane straight away, but... It was just a little bit too much damage for what he expected. Yeah. It happens. So the one for one result is, though, overall, if you look at this, yes. He's actually doing quite well on as tiny as you would expect. Almost a hundred right click damage already at level four. Radiant are scanning. Ignum. Oh, I found himself an illusion rune. Now making his way towards the middle lane. Same though for Rubik as they initiate onto G here with a full combo. Spirit Siphon gets one off and the Cold Feet will proc a couple right clicks. Will secure the kill. The lift before the crush can come out. Bignum will still find it on the edge in apparition as everyone gets slowed slow. down by Vensko. Two points up into the upheaval. Gonna make it very obnoxious to move here. Everyone's sitting at a hundred move speed as BZZ comes back, but Bignum unwilling to engage into it and trying to go for another crush for fear of being just combat down himself. Um, and I mean, they did have to get the Rubik rotation to get the kill. They wouldn't have had enough damage or lockdown without him, but uh, really nice kill for them because they are actually not doing as well as I would have expected in the mid lane. And Gambit is actually winning at straight up 2 versus 2. I mean, also shows in the CS, BZZ, up to 27 and 6, maintaining that lead over Illidan. And there we go again, uh, the stun, the combo with the cold feet, the slow is there, but they even have to lift to make that absolutely certain. The crush coming through, but it's not going to be enough to save his friend. Now Bignum, look at him. With that sprint amplifying his own damage, another stun with the cold feet, it only got disjointed. So no more damage coming in from that. Vansko finally gets snapped out of that upheaval. So annoying. But ultimately, like, it's not enough to keep easy safe. Dying twice in short succession like that. It's also both, like, times. It's been pretty darn close that he'll... Because if he just gets away a little bit from Illidan, like, he's gonna be so slow that he's not gonna be able to keep hitting him. So, like, if he had, like, 100 extra HP or whatnot, I think he would have lived possibly both times there, but... Yeah, just enough damage for Team Spirit. So the extra control coming from Rubik here, Beaver rotating in, probably also crucial. Yeah, because that is the reason why Vanska or Van two points in upheaval at level 3, I think. Because he knows that, you know, if he can just get out of these stuns, there's no way that Illidan catches up to BCC again. Oh. Oh, he's forcing out that burn uh, siphon. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he would have gotten a kill anyways, but... Yeah, it's getting harder now with the higher level of Spirit Siphon. Or he has another one available now. Of course, you also get more heals coming through. Especially up against uh, Strength Heroes with a lot of health points. It uh, also helps you out quite a bit as a Death Prophet. Yeah. And he has, he has a very stat-heavy build on DP as well, which is... Of course, what you should do against an, a tri lane like this, or dual lane. The magic wand, two nulls, and an infused raindrop, so he's quite beefy. Alright, so look at these other lanes again. The sports have rotated out for the most part here, so we have a try and try mid for the last few minutes, which does leave these other lanes kind of farming lanes for the most part, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much. And I mean, the tiny is doing really, really well for himself. Oh, go again. Is struggling. Z in mid, the stun is there, does have the Spirit Siphon out, so now he's actually going to survive, Bignum with a double crush, Illidan, now he's dropping low and low himself, and okay, he will die to another couple of right clicks, BZ healed up now by Vanscore, the stun coming through, Illidan's still not dead actually, they do find a turnaround, one for one trade, and that particular side is also click down the Rubik.
This time, BZ, we talked about it, Spirit Siphon. Much harder to burst through like that, and also Shadow Bird doing his thing. And Raindrop worked overtime, made the, it oh, proc yeah. two times actually, so it tanked about, you know, I don't know how much damage, but maybe 200 damage. So really it's nice. Rune. I won't let that stand here. Bringing in the Weaver with the bugs, with the extra damage. Three seconds down, no way out of that one. Picking him a little bit too late. Throw on the crush, still finds it on two, but where's the follow up? Dark Arc is there. Throw some new purification, but his friend is already dead. He has to repel himself, trying to walk away. He cannot be controlled for this moment, but now there it is. The Brewmaster Cheshire Cat also making an appearance. Everyone just joined the party in the middle lane, bring down Illidan again <laughs> with another purification. and. Now FNG lifted up into the air. DK Phobos, not a whole lot he can do here now for his teammate and captain. Ancient apparition. That ice cube will be melted. Double kill from Dahak. This is the beauty of CS Dota, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, CS Dota is easily one of the most fun to watch because of just action packed games. No doubt about that. Both side lanes just rotated again. One was missing most of the tiny here. Maybe if G was there a little bit earlier. I look to the spirit. They they know what they want. They <laughs> saw BCC tipping top and they just moving their trial and top up there. And a really good scam from whoever did that on Gambit. Let's yeah. Sniff it out. They know someone's here now they see Illidan. <laughs> oh, BCC will not catch a break. The ward down from Bignum will scout out F and G going in and out of the trees. Now the jig is most certainly up. Well, overall Team Spirit getting the slightly better end of this just because Tiny's been farming so extremely well. I mean, if you look at G's network actually, almost scratching that 5k mark 10 minutes in. He's sitting at 70 lasses at 10 minutes. That's very, very nice. Yeah. Also been lane and creeps too, right? I don't think he's been jungling a lot. No, it's... I, I'm not sure. And it, it surprises me because... Yeah, he was like the kind of... They duel in with him for a while. He was against the Brewmaster, and Brewmaster is pretty good at being, you know, putting a wrench to whoever he's in against, especially Tyne who can't get rid of uh, the Drunken Haze. Yeah. So. Can, can you still whatever. splash with that though? With the what tree? Did you say? Can you still do the splash damage with the tree? Uh, I don't think so. I actually won't bet my life on it, but I don't think. It, I think you'll miss everything. Well, top lane again, going for the combo with the ultimate as well from Chaos Knight, but Bignum is there with the crush, BZ is still alive now, Illidan, nuke down as Dahak rotates in, lifts up, Illidan still alive, just barely, Dahak going in with a repel, one more punch and the crush onto Rubik, Team Spirit, try to go for the cheeky combo again, but uh, this time not really a uh, crumble success as Gambit coming in and responding in full force. Space created, I guess. It's again, G continuing to be strong now, punching away this mid tower and finding some free farm for DK Phobos. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Gambit realized that they're just gonna run at our DP, I guess. So they're just super ready with the Bansker is sitting behind with the heal and the people, and then Darkstack is just insta tipping in. So, really nice by them. Yeah. It's already back. Ice Blast coming through. First one of the game, does not actually get let go until much, much later. Catch anybody here. <laughs> Ooh, the Avalanche. Almost cancelling BZ's TP as it stands. He'll be able to defend bottom. Be just fine. <laughs> Team Spirit, they keep trying to muscle their way back into this game. Yeah. They might be able to finish up the 2 on tower top, and it looks like it. Uchi and Dildon both here. But mid lane, Cheshire Cat oh, gets, <coughs> gets the ultimate off. Forcing out a time lapse on DK Phobos, but that is the win for Team Spirit as well, isn't it? Yeah. And if Ruby can be sneaky here, no, they don't have a ward in mid. He just got level 6 with a tome, so I thought, hey, maybe he wants to steal the Primal Split, but they could not. He still could right now. He catches Cheshire Cat, but he's making his way. I mean, Back this is safety. a really good, <laughs> really good Rubik game. This was their first pick Rubik, so they of course couldn't know what Gambit would pick, but there's like Omni spells, there's Brewmaster Split, there's Deep Ulti, there's Warlock Ulti, the Slaughter Stun or uh, Amp damage. It's like a lot of great spells. Yep. We'll see this again. Full on madness in the mid lane. 
Four heroes from Gambit. Five heroes even. In this general area. No Bruce Blood though. So check the cat. Making his way up top is that tier two. Is being pressured just a little bit, but Silence they engage in mid. Yeah, the silence. DK Phobos crushed up, but the North protection for him. DK Phobos. He will be able to tie us back to oh half of another Shikuchi. Oh, that was that was awkward. Vansko, he the yeah, he hit the chaotic offering. Could have finished him off if he wanted to, but unwilling to cast a big spell just for what what was the offering in the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Position, Illidan. Uh, do they have anything against oh, the TP? It doesn't no, look like it here. Big Dom actually ends up dying with the ice blast on top. So that was awkward. Vansker had the mana for Kero, but he used the uh, Fatal Bonds, I think, and then he, okay. he didn't have enough mana, so... I mean, if he did use that, it would probably go... Maybe they wouldn't even have gotten the CK, Ah, they, sh they should have gotten it, but... Yeah, but Phobos, he was it sitting happens. at, like, 50 health. Yeah. Some tough luck for uh, Gambit here in the last minutes, just barely not getting these kills. Yeah. Well... He's very catching a break there. And uh, especially with the side lanes where they were. And oh god, Fanchard got a can. Let's have another Bruce with available in just a second if he wants to throw it out to survive once again. And he does indeed. No help coming. Instead, his team engages down on the bottom. FNG is super fast, so got himself a haste tune. It's now timed out. Do we see how far do you want to commit? Not far enough. So they'll be just fine. His top lane, Fanchard can still being run down. He's uh, going to yeah, turn back into his normal in stride onto the cross. G keeping on top of the earth ruling. They do find Rubik in the end down bottom. They continue to skirmish, but uh, it's a tragedy it would take any day on Team Spur. Like, you're supposed to lose these skirmishes all the freaking time against a lineup like Ambit. Yeah, and the big thing is that. Like, uh, Gambit is committing so many heroes bottom. Oh, are we gonna get Weaver this the time? Crush, they have the silence. Have another couple of right clicks. Do they have enough damage? They do indeed. Just uh, go for the golem this time. Not make the same mistake uh, twice. And they'll be able Van to push the tower with that. Vansgur certainly wanted to see him dead. <laughs> yeah. Right, so they can uh, push that tower with the golem. Next tower with that DP ultimate if they want to. They only brought back Chasha Cat once again. He's on guard duty for the tier 2 top. So win. Gambit gets the tier 1 bottom, so that, that's a nice thing for them. Uh, meanwhile, Spirit is just farming out their enemy wood, so... Not too much happening right now. Uh, is, is this pace fine for Team Spirit? I mean, just farming up in the course and... Dodging that central power and just having DK Phobos basically run circles around Gambit. I think that... <clears throat> Team Spirit... Gambit, they have this super strong team fight ultimates. So Gambit, uh, I mean, Team Spirit, they don't really want to fight them until they hit whatever items they feel they're comfortable with. Maybe Beaky Bees even uh, for like Illidan and Tiny, and then they can like feel that we can probably fight them. But probably for the most duration of this game, they're gonna try to find picks with this Tiny Shadow Blade and just yeah, not fight them head on. So, I mean, the pace, I don't know if, like, I, I'm sure it's fine for them. It's not like, uh, it doesn't really matter about farm in this game. It's more so about the playstyle. Because both lineups are, like, fine-ish late game. I, I guess Gambit's lineup is not as good as Team Spirits. But it's, it's going to come down to timings here, where Gambit, they have a really, really strong mid-game lineup. Like, really strong. And Team Spirit, they just want to weather that storm, I think. Yeah. I mean, so far, so good. They still have a lot of buffer left here with Tier 1 still standing in mid as well as top. So, 5-man pushing power. Gambit hasn't really been able to put that uh, to use just yet. I think it's... Uh, it is this carry Omni Knight, so you, of course, want him to be this force of recommend. So maybe, maybe it's go time for them when they hit this Radiance. It is uh, quite off right now. He's missing about 2k gold. Yep. 1.5. Almost has the relic, so... Unless he gets killed anytime soon, you'll have that big milestone available for you. And 
Oh, well, Gambit take medicine to their own hands now. Foreman smoke. Looking forward to this tier 1 tower if nothing else. And it's trying to catch anybody that they can get. But Team Spirit looks like they know what's happening. Playing very defensively here. Even behind the tier 2s. Yeah. They sniffed it out. Shashikat does have his blink now. And yeah, they're just gonna pressure these towers straight up, I think. Yeah. And I would expect that Team Spirit are not gonna fight this. Because they, their fireman is just not... Comparable to Gambus right now. Yeah, I mean, have everything Maybe. available Golem, Exorcism, and of course, Dahak on the only night. All those these spells available. Exactly. I mean, G wants to go in here. They're... I guess he wants to deny this tower. Uh, sure, but this one here, they catch him with the ultimate. Does get the avalanche off, but burst it down afterwards, regardless. Some damage being spread out between Gambit, but they do lose that hero. At the very least, Diggy Phobos, he's been doing the split pushing duty. Going? Yeah, this amount of damage to his tier 2 right now is not being responded to as they're going into Roche instead with both the Exorcism as well as the Golem committed. Should make it very easy at the yeah, same time. Game, Ice Blast, pretty good. Make them maybe even think twice perhaps. Dahak though, keeping away from damage. We will not shadow to that at all. This could be stressful for the Gambit. They're all very low on their heroes. Oh, by the lift of the Bignum here. Purification stolen from Rubik. Doing quite a bit of damage with the drag bag. Another couple of right things. They will end up dropping. Dekafobos even joining in. Can they catch more on the box? Oh, nice! The blade crash from Baver! He's playing a better slaughter than slaughter right now! <laughs> they immediately take down the Aegis. The hack back with the solo Garden Angel. Turning right, right click down FNG. Will be successful. Now looking for more Illidan. Silenced up. It's not his ultimate or anything. Throws on the stun, but now it's down the target's way to victory, but it's not gonna be possible. <laughs> Two heroes down at the end. And a bit of Yules onto Weaver, but no further control or detection available to run him down. So Gambit. They retreat. They do lose the ages, but they do get a few kills in return. I think overall, that is a favor for Gambit because I, I was really scared because they used everything to get that Roshan. They used Bruce Blade like way too early. They used uh, the ability, but the big thing here is that CK did have cooldown on Phantasm. So even if they did get that really nice go on them afterwards. It was just, they didn't have enough. Ooh, the damage. lift onto the high follow from G, as well as the crush. People still loading onto it, an absolutely quick burst down. A lot of gold as well for G with the killing speed. DKF almost finished up Vanscore, not Bignum. Also, with the buck, oh. with the sprint that Shukuchi, or uh, the Gemini oh, attack, doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Double kill for him. They bite into the side of Gambit here in this bottom lane, just realizing, hey, this is still our time. As, again, with all these spells committed, those are, those are the strength of Gambit's team fight. But if they're yeah. gone, they're just so much weaker. Team Spirit recognizing that. Taking their chances and uh, getting quite a number of kills as well as finishing off the tier 2. And that's exactly what you need to do. You need to, as soon as they use these spells, you just need to capitalize on it. And that's exactly what they did. That's really good by Team Spirit. But this Radiance is online for uh, uh, Gambit now, so... Top lane. Cheshire Cat as well as BZ working away at Illidan. No support coming his way, he's armor toggling, but there's a bit of extra control. Yeah, right. Can he do it again? No, he cannot. We bring him down on the end, so... That's a good pick, trying to slow him down a little bit. Ah, though, alright. He's having some issues with this Weaver at this point, not a whole lot he can do against him. Weaver is... At this point when he gets the Fusal and he has the Mana Break talent, he deals so much damage and he puts screws in so many heroes that doesn't have like this big mana pool to work with. Oh god, Ice Blast. We'll connect here as they brought down Beaver, but... No counter kills here in this mid lane. The highest scan comes out since DKFO was also rotating around. In spirit, they want to find more with these quick pickups, especially Cheshire Cat, he's so low. He can be bursted down by G if he just walks back. Oh, oh, oh! oh my god. I'm sure he knew he was there. <laughs> yeah. I guess he could have figured, right? I mean, he was pushing the bottom tier 3. He had down to half health after that, so... Gets a quick blink back home. Yeah, and the big thing for Gambit is that they're they're reaching their slaughter blink tag, you know. They don't really, like, they have this amazing team fight, but they don't really... I guess they have Brewmaster Initiation, but you, this... Uh, like, insta-stun is always really nice. You always want that in your lineups to just blow someone up. Where blue is just a clap, like, 
if he initiates with clap, there's a potential that the other team can like BKB or whatnot. Now the team doesn't have BKBs, but having this stun initiation, it's it's such such a nice thing to play around. Yeah. You see it for Team Spirit actually, Rubik with a very quick blink tag in comparison. He being able to steal that crush, of course, it turns him into everything the slaughter is on top of what yeah. he is himself as a Rubik, right? For uh, sure. And Gambit are smoking instantly with this blink dagger. They know that this is our time to shine. Our spells are back up, let's go boys. Blink crush the hack with the radiance. We'll try and find somebody, but once again Team Spirit seems to be on top of it, unless Beaver being a bit greedy. No, not greedy. Sticking to the trees, but now we're smoke break and they'll still find him. Oh, perfect. And, uh. Should be able to burst him down. Purifications both ways, but not gonna be enough to keep him safe. But at what cost, these girls? Gee, look at him. He's bashing away. Two clicks and this tower is already missing another 200 out points. Yeah, and you don't want to lose these towers. Or lose damage on him because it is a tiny. And sure, he doesn't have a wisp, but this here still spit pushes and rats like a beast. Like oh, yeah. he does so much damage to towers, and he doesn't even have any items yet. He has how much is it? One hundred twenty percent extra building damage. Absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, he's gonna get better as well once he finally finishes up that assault your ass. Oh, Illidan links in, finds BZZ. Did not see him coming with that inner soon that he picked up. That's a really, really good kill here, finding that. With help of the Ice Plus as well, so no healing potential whatsoever. Question is, how much can they really do with that? Down bottom, Gambit. So, we're looking for more kills here with the Blink Crush. This time off the mark, Beaver. On the wrong side of that tree line. Dodging that out. He oh, now being spotted by the sword. Up on the high ground. Ugh. Better TP out, he should be fine. Oh, is he? No! <laughs> that ultimate being committed catches him just on the edge, so... He should end up dropping. It'll take them a while, but they have everything available. Dust against the Invis. And they do bring down the big stone man. But if, if you just take a look at how Spirit is playing this, because they know, okay, Gambit, they want to reach our towers, they want to push us, but they're just spreading out so much on the map, it's so hard to play against. <laughs> Literally a little back towards the top lane, just pushing that out across the river. I like this Illidan, he just sits on top lane, Weaver is like around mid and tiny bottom. And they're just pressuring all lanes all the time. Gambit can't ever get to their objectives they want. Yep. They need to find picks to in order to like relieve pressure of the map. Well, so far these picks are few and far between. Not really enough to give them too big of a window right now. Yeah, and um, because they have this amazing team fight, that's something they lack. They don't, they don't really have the power to like find pickoffs easily. You know, I try and force out some spells from Dahak, but he didn't quite have the control to finish him off before he can turn around. And now the rest of his team coming in, the Sans and the Chaos Knight, picking him up with the stun, there's another one available in a couple of seconds. Even with the lift back, trying to buy some more space. But, uh, yeah, with the Yules into Crush, picking even this DD rune, they should be able to find the Chaos Knight. But, G coming in to try and help with a back of extra nuke on onto Pignum. I'm not sure if they <laughs> thought yeah. this one through. G yeah. now taking the full brunt of that exorcism. DK4 was trying to finish up Dahak there with the, with the buck nibbling away the Zamba, but he cannot find the space to right click. Dahak should be fine in the end. Damn it, only lose one, whereas Team Spirit lose three. Uh, finally, Gambit is able to find a fight where they actually can't get away from it. They can't slip away with, like, they don't only get this Rubik or whatnot. They find some cores, and that's really nice for them. Yeah. However, they did use a lot of spells now. Use Exorcism. Actually, they only use Exorcism. The Bruce Split is up, and the Warlock Golem is soon up again. So, not really. A, I guess he used Guardian as well. Easy being gone on here. Digafo was doing quite a good job just being annoying if nothing else. He knows that there's not a whole lot that they can do against him unless they just straight up silence and crush oh. him up. As <laughs> he sees three of them and... Oh. oh. I thought he would have gotten caught there with the blink crush, but... 
Instead, Illidan, he's coming in. With the drag back, Ice Blast, a bit off the mark, he's even with the ultimate anyway. Now the counter initiation, the silence on two, the focusing on Illidan, Good much silence. easier target to bring down. And, well, they also have some extra time for the Weaver now, forces out the time lapse. They have the dust available, King to track of him. Meanwhile, in the back, the problem split being forced out is Gene Beaver trying to create some more chaos, trying to help his teammate, who's almost getting the kill and picked up. He has juke through trees himself now, but. Yeah, Phobos, he's still alive to keep track of him. Blink Crush will finish the job. Meanwhile, on the other end, Cheshire Cat's just controlling everybody else up. Da, caught up with him. They will be able to find the Beaver. Poor little Rubik is the fourth casualty here, Gamut. Taking a fight on two fronts and uh, <laughs> extremely successful. Team Spur just really on the same page there, it feels like. Yeah, and th like they actually kind of fight into them now. They don't try to rat anymore. They try to actually yeah, contest them in five man power and they can't. Like, Gambit's lineup is just way too good at that. So now Gambit has a very nice lead and they're actually allowed to pressure from towers since these Spirit's heroes are dead, they don't have the time to push out the lanes anymore. First time in a while, all Dire Creeps are on the Radiant side of the map on all three lanes. So they do take advantage of that. Roshan, not quite up just yet, 35 seconds on the clock still. Rather long I respawn. What's going on in Team Spirit's head is that say, okay guys, we, we just fucked up, like we tried to fight them and we shouldn't have done that, like, maybe we thought we had a little timing when they used this Guardian Angel and Exorcism, but they're just way too strong anyways. Let's just go back to ratting completely and yeah, don't ever let them get to towers again, basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's gonna have to be the plan at this point. It depends on some good vision right now. There's a few wards out on the map here. There's one blocking up the ancient camp. Now free to fresh one in the middle lane, so you need to ha have that intel, you need to make sure not to be initiated on by Gambit is the power of the slot initiation, you talked about it before, and it's just scaling with the, the strength of his teammates, isn't it? Yeah. Get rid of some of these illusions. And it's like, stuff like that, it's so easy to be smart and realize what you should do after you've done it, like, okay, we just fucked up this five-man fight, like, we shouldn't have done that. But the question is, is it already, like, did they already give too much to Gambit? Can Gambit, like, ride this wave and just take the win, or can... Because that's the stuff, like, doing mistakes like that, taking that five-man fight, that can just cost you the game right there. But, uh, gonna have to see if they can do that, or Team Spirit can fight back. Well, DK Phobos, they know that someone's here with the smoke break in here. They find him with the dust immediately being gone off with the time miss. They still find him with the ultimate, the silence. And they run him down here. Four staff not giving enough to give him the safety. Again, big commitment, but they do punish this movement from Team Spirit. They're gonna not feel safe anywhere on the map. Even DK Phobos has been able to play very freely up until uh, just a few minutes ago. Being punished again, and of course with that pickoff, that's an invitation to just get the second Roche. Aegis and Cheese, available, ripe for the taking here for Gambit. And I actually really like this Bloodthorn uh, Orchid pickup from Cheshire Cat, because uh, Weaver has nothing to deal with it right now. He's even going on Maelstrom, so he's not going to have anything soon. And, I mean, yeah, it's going to put so much pressure on Weaver especially. G though, well... <sighs> Forcing out that, uh, that glyph. Someone needs to respond to this. There's also two catapults. This tower is going to take a bit of extra damage once again. Well, 200 health points though, with it or something like that. One more shot from the catapult. No, doesn't get it. Yeah, it's tough. The tower is probably going down in this game. Maybe not. Uh, it just depends on how well Gambit can control this particular lane. The only reason they, uh, only reason Team Spirit got that close was that Gambit committed for Roshan without using any of the big spells or like without using the exorcism, namely, to speed it up. So it took them a while, couldn't respond in time. But it's still standing, and it will protect the shrines. So nothing of value was lost, quite literally. Yeah, and I think that Gambit wants to reach the Team Spirit's base with uh, these ages, and. 
Yeah, she's got. Oh, yes, I use some beer. Actually, beer is gonna be fine here. Oh, sick blink. Because this orchid as well, it makes it really hard for especially Weaver to rat, like split push. He, he doesn't feel safe anymore at all. Before, he, like he only had to worry about the silence, which Pike works quite nice against. You can just take more distance and the slaughter stuff. Now it's an orchid too, and it's like it's a lot of variables you need to worry about, and it gets a really tricky for him to play. Uh, yes, yeah, so BKB queued up now. G is well after finishing up the Soul Cure as Illidan already has a BKB already. Still 10 seconds on that shot. So once these items come out, how does it change the team fights for Team Spirit? I mean, I still don't think they can fight them five on five, but the, like, I guess with those items, especially with BKB, like there's a chance, but Gambit still. They have a lot of damage at physical, so it, it's not like it just makes them, okay, we can just win fights now. But there is a possibility to take fights, I think. If you find the right uh, initiation and so what. I think I'm going to charge a cat, but control or use Beaver. So realizes they can just TP out Illidan, not quite close enough. Even with that blink of his own. Now oh, they're see, threatening the high ground here is Gambit. Most of the forces are down here trying to finish up the tier 2. Can big them catch them here? Uh, Once two. That is Blink coming through. This uh, BKB and Silence on the Gifobos need some more lockdown and damage, and they do have it. Again with the golem committed, the Yules in the back. Easy Z found the and TP to Shriner to believe, and now just trying to run him down. Blink Crush not going to be connecting, but forcing out the BKB at the very least. Nice. And it's this just oh my god, this damage. This is great for Gambit. I mean, he used BKB and they got the kill. Yeah. But G, he knows, he knows the storm of the game. He rats. That's the bottom tower. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Did indeed. Alright, how... What else is Gambit gonna get from that though? Because, as I said, it's obviously a huge victory. He has another Yules coming out onto G. The bash coming through even, but Ice Bar's connecting in turn. It's beefy. Blink Crush stolen from know. Beaver, alright. So far so good, but there's gonna be another one available here for Pikmin right now. They should be able to finish off the Rubik. At the very least. Yeah, and the nice thing when you get these kills, uh, like on Weaver and CK, because they're ratting, so when you get these kills, they're not... Like, there's gonna be room for you to actually reach the base, or re at least reach a tier 2 tower. That's exactly what Gambit is doing right now. They're gonna get some towers, reduce the map control for Team Spirit, and just... Yeah, they're having a good time. You know, they're getting what they want. Yeah. Two lanes pushing in here, mid as well as bottom. One will be defended, the other will not. Either way, both these tier twos, or this they last remaining tier two, or here. They could. I mean, there's still the exes and might just pop it right now. BKB available on Death Prophet again with eight seconds. She's even in hand still. And that Aegis on yeah, the Omni Knight still available for thirty seconds. I don't think you do. Gonna have to be exactly. forced to direct down. This is exactly what it allowed to get these kills to to make sure that they couldn't split. But you just insta force, and what can this spirit do? Yeah. I just split push here to find the lift on the van skull, so I think he was TPing and that was cancelled. Just to walk back home at this point. Might not get the chance with the rest of Team Spirit coming in, but that's a big commitment only to catch a warlock. No detection. If that's gonna take them some time. Oh man. Gambit, continuing to have the clear advantage. Yeah, Master uh, has a nullifier now, alright. And what's really big about getting a lane when you play against this uh, ratting strategy of this spirit is that it's gonna be so much tougher to rat when a lane is constantly pushing into your face. It's gonna be a lot less to worry about for Gambit. Ooh, don't think that's someone you wanna find. Cheshire Cat gets a BKB off of him with the ultimate committed. Can they get him? Can't, they don't no. have the control, they can't even get the right clicks in. Nahak also finding the blink back, so yeah, only BKB committed, not even the ultimate wasn't cooled on anyway. That was a phantasm usage, so... Yeah. Gambit probably realized that was a phantasm, so... Yeah, now we have even more possibilities of just running them down. And this nullifier, like, this nullifier with the... Orchid or Bloodthorn, it's the, it's the mini-doom build. 
So yep. no one is safe anymore. And when you find, you can throw it out on. Most importantly, the weevil probably just be sure that he can't get away once again. I mean, he can't even kill Beaver now because we saw him try and attempt to kill Beaver, but Beaver just yielded himself. Yeah. Uh, without that, I mean, Beaver is super dead, and this nullifier will not let him use the evil soul. Oh. Is this death pushy skills? Gambit, bearing down mid. Yeah. It's, uh, G is in position though at the top lane, so I think he's gonna be able to rat if if Gambit would uh, commit. But I think that's why they're not really committing at pushing mid because they know that in the current moment, like Team Spirit has all their heroes up, they're just gonna insta rat if they show like too many heroes on a lane and. Like at this point, Gambit, their their heads have been like, okay, we need to catch them off. How do we like enable us to catch their ratting heroes? That's why they're kind of just sitting in like off map, I think, yeah. hoping that someone is gonna <laughs> yeah. Can't even find him. Beaver, Beaver gonna be killed very very quickly. G trying to help out his friend and with Aladdin also there, they do click down big them. Now with Cheshire Cat coming in that ultimate. In the cover of BKB, the Hawk running in with Vanscore dropping down the rock, only finding the other rock, G. Has to pop his own BKB to walk away at this point, so one for one trade so far. Yeah, stop lane, yeah, they went for that as DP already made the call to go back home and defend. So, pretty good for Spirit overall, just losing their, uh, losing the Rubik. And what that does, like, when you take a fight like that and you... You know that, okay, all Team Spirit's heroes are in base now, because they either regen or they died, or they tip it home. So, now, there's gonna be some room for Gambit to go mid, if they want to. They used a couple of spells, so they might not Radiance actually want to do that. The heck? With the haste rune, a little bit too fast, G. Going down some spells, feeling up some angels. Cheshire Cat gets tossed up as he blinks in, but there's a mini doom coming through. Extra couple of right clicks, Mark trying to run him down. And Illidan, though, again turning things around. This time, though, there is that garden angel uh, keeping his friend alive. Vansko able to get the TP back. And now, Yax is in busy. One turns around with the BKBs on him, as well as Cheshire Cat. And this is something that Team Spirit cannot actually fight. DK Foles is still trying to finish off the back lines, making them in a lot of trouble, but. No, he lost a big hero, and DK Phobos doesn't quite have the punching power to finish the job. Big them. Gets the crush, gets the amplifier. There's still time ups available for DK Phobos. Much damage. Uh, he's not gonna go for it just yet. Luckily, he got the buck up on Big Num, so no quick blink after him. Should give him enough space to walk he away, but to blink. say that, ah, he's pretty damn fast, so is PZZ. And they, oh, <laughs> the final blink yields with the gem here on Daha. Oh, on somebody. Big Num, there we go, coming through. Make absolutely sure that they maintain vision and they do run down the weaver at the end of the day regardless and guess what bottom lane all the way in the radiant side middle lane also in a decent position and so is top lane damn it they can do whatever they want to with the excellent committed maybe not go high ground but certainly we can finish up roche and that's what they're gonna do they just chief refresher they'll certainly fix the excellent situation if they needed to and i want to point out why that happened because so the first engagement we saw, they only got the Rubik, they used some spells, but they didn't really get any other kills. We were split, push shop and DP forced him back, like that was basically what happened. But what it allows is that Gambit knows that, okay, they tip it back to base, they are in their like base area right now. So if we just, and they, then they went on this uh, tiny right at their kind of ancient area. And then because Team Spirit, they're not like in position at all to rat with any of their heroes because they just keep it home. They felt the need, okay, we need to fight them because otherwise we're gonna lose this tiny and they're just gonna like run down mid. So instead they tried to take the fight, but I mean, they just couldn't because they're, they were weaker or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so, but that's like, that's exactly why they felt the need to take that fight. Maybe not because they wanted to, but they felt that otherwise we just lose the tiny and yeah, we're gonna be two racks down anyways. Yeah. So hard right now, BZ. So powerful on the staff problem, especially with that BKB. Run in with that nexism, and it's not a whole lot of Team Spirit can do, right? I mean, if you look at Illidan in comparison, he's only level 17. He's not gonna, not cl even closer to level 20 where you have that reality rift. They have some semblance of control and uh, extra damage potential here up against BKBs. 
And, uh, well, as a result, they win their team fight. And now going for more. The mini doom onto the Weaver. Follow up trash to do person down. He just no buyback. The exorcism going here, just naturally coming off cooldown. Still holding on to the cheese as well. So refresh a shot in the backpack. So this should be another full set of racks. Team Spirit. No position to fight this. In fact, Illidan, all right. <laughs> Gonna be up against a couple of different golems up top here as they <laughs> find the Warlock. Full rat mode <laughs> initiated here. Both him and G wailing away at buildings. TP back from BZZ. Gonna try and stop this mid push. Will be successful. Big number fights the bash onto Illidan. What a game. He will be burst down <laughs> by the rest of Gambit. Link Rush. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to That's find document that. That's oh. I. Fuck you for bashing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, everything working out just fine here. For Gambit. Incredible. Yeah, and I mean, Team Spirit they did what they felt we need to wrap them, but. Yeah, Gambit, they, lose, they have lost two of the tier 3 towers now, but I mean, they don't care. Now there's only one side left, and then there's gonna be Megas, and they're, they're intending to force it. And they have exorcism again, so why not? Uh, use the refresher shot to make that happen, but this is uh, almost the last Rex, or last set of Rex here. Still range Rex standing, but very little health up top. Not really worth mentioning. This time there's no reds, there's no anything. Nice little combo there on two here. Sasha gets still gets the BKB off. Now Dahak with his Garden Angel. DK4 was on his own BKB trying to do some sort of damage, but he's just not powerful enough. Do burst down the racks. They should make a beeline for the top, secure the Megas. Unless they just. Yeah, there it is. Blinks forward. And uh, that should be it. I don't see this lineup for Doom's Birds. Hold out against Megas. No. Uh, they might want to try a little bit longer, but uh, I think, like, in their horse, they know, okay, we lost this game now. What do we do in the next one? Uh, stuff like this. Well, looks like they want to go for the one last push straight down mid. They uh, don't have boots of trouble or anything in the Weaver, so Dikifos might have a hard time catching up. They have beauties on G. They have honor G, yeah. And um, yeah, I mean they know. Okay, they use they use their fresh air shard and exorcism, so that's some cool. Oh. Maybe maybe we can use. No, DK Phobos just gets caught on the way to rest. Seems he's still alive, but he will pop to the orchid burn. Cool kid, don't oh, look at explosions. They really don't. No. Well, maybe they're also running away from explosions. As, uh, <laughs> deep spirits. They wasted a lot of time just trying to run them down. Rubik with the stolen uh, Brewmaster Ultimate, turning things around. One for one trade so far. They also like, lose F and G, though. Illidan, same time in the middle. Uh, should be a GG. Well played is Call and Gambit. Well, they uh, protect themselves against the put push attempts from Team Spirit. And uh, then execute that team fight perfectly most of the time, or every single time, almost. However you want to say it. Yeah, really well done by Gambit, and I think.